Yo, what's up guys? Got Pokeyang here with an OU Live. Today I'm going to be using this team that Blunder passed me. I believe Brofus made it. I really, really do like the team. And uh, it's just basically what I use in Round 1 of World Cup. But it's just all around solid. Um, with Bandit Zygarde, Magearna, and Greninja. The big three right now, the meta. Uh, those three are definitely the top three Pokemon outside of like Landers. Uh, obviously up there as well. But I really do like the team. It's pretty easy to use as well. And it's really, really solid. Uh, so big shout out to my boy Blender for passing it to me. I do apologize, by the way, guys. I am a little bit sick, a little bit under the weather. Um, hopefully that won't affect this too much. We have a game versus the team that I used in a live, if I'm not mistaken. And I'll actually just look at the team right now. I swear I use a Halucha squad. I swear I use this exact one. There it is. Yeah, Hole and Confirm made this team. So let's try Scarf Keldeo, standard. Uh, yeah. I know this entire team. But focus action, extra drill lead. Yep. So, um, how do I want to go off this game? Zygar just two kills every moment at extreme speed, which is the truth. I don't want Mew getting poisoned. I think I'll just go lead Zygarde and just thousand arrows twice because he'll get up rocks. Uh, because Zygarde does not need HP to two a KO every moment at extreme speed is what I'm trying to say. So I don't mind him getting up his rocks and then I can just defog after later. Battle Button Ninja is also a huge threat. So yeah, like I said, I don't need HP on Zygarde to two a KO every single moment of extreme speed. Um, Magirna can win the game very, 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 very easily, especially because of its electric terrain. Uh, he does go out into Metacham, which my Mew does wall indefinitely. <laughs> like actually. Yum! Okay, that did a lot. Well, that's Adam and Metacham, so what can you expect? And what I can do is roost here. Uh, as he goes for his head, but trying to flinch me down. <laughs> so early in the game. Uh, but we'll just will the incoming Tapu Koko, which is pretty much his only mod that could beat me. That or um, Toxic and Zygarde. And uh, I'm not as worried about Zygarde because I do have Tangrowth to pivot into. I mean, Tangrowth comes in on this mod too. Uh, Halucha is probably the biggest threat though, as he does go for the Gigavolt Havoc. Yep. That's the reason why I brought in my Tangrowth, and uh, now we don't have to worry about that Z-move at all. And I can just go in for Giga Drain right here. Uh, get a little bit of HP back versus Halucha if he wants to go out to that, or even Medicham. Surprise, he went right out to Medicham. But Mew does beat it, like I said. Unless he's running Thunder Punch, which I don't think, which is one of the issues with the team, because the team itself didn't have Thunder Punch when I was using it. Uh, and he actually, again, just tries to... <laughs> He again just tries to flinch me down, but I do want rocks up because um, Magirna again does have such an easy, easy, easy job at sweeping him. And with rocks up and electric terrain, I just beat down Coco. In fact, I don't even know if it's worth getting up rocks. Maybe I should just burn this Metacham because he's really trying to flinch me to death. Uh, but right here, he should switch out. I'm, I'm actually at full HP. Yeah, and we can get up rocks. That's Tapu Coco is going to come out. Uh, Tapu Coco would probably go down to an Ice Beam from uh, my Ninja anyway. I don't want him Volt Switching out into his Halucha, and the mod I'm going to set up on will probably actually be his Halucha, or maybe Keldeo. So I'm actually going to Psychic expecting him to Volt Switch as he goes for Dazzling Gleam, more than likely expecting me to want to go out into my uh, Tangrowth right there, which is fair. Uh, drops of Thunder. That did absolutely nothing. Like, that only did 52%, considering that's Electric Terrain boosted, and I'm not Special Defensive Mew. Mew's amazing, though, in this game. Like, it's actually amazing. And again, Shin Speed is just going to be really good uh, versus him, so... What I want to do is go Latios because Latios just picks, clicks Psy Shock, and if he opts to go for Volt Switch, like I said, I beat every mod on his team outside of Halucha. But Halucha should though it should be able to kill me with Acrobatics. Uh, I don't really have a, a switch in. <laughs> like I actually did not have a switch in right there. Hmm. This mod's an issue. As much as I like the. Uh, the idea of click expanding extreme speed versus him. I think I can win the game with just Magirna, so I'm gonna click Outrage right here. If he SD's up, I'll be able to beat him down with Water Shuriken after. From my Greninja. Like I said, I knew I'd be able to live a hit. I'd be able to beat him down with Water Shuriken. If he switches out rocks, we'll pick him off, and I'll be able to get my Battle Bond as well, which is really good versus this. The Water Shuriken. If he wants to go hard, Keldeo. Keldeo actually takes the necessary damage that I need um, to be able to sweep him with uh with Magirna. so i actually sack my greninja here uh basically i made this play because if he knocked me out i shift geared up and i won but he ended up going out to metacham uh as i can just click water shuriken again but like i said i made this play to try and win the game already um as he goes halucha yep sacks it nice so metacham can come back out if he wants to or keldeo 
And once again, I made this play so I can win the game with Magirna. So we'll just go for Water Shuriken as he doubles again. <laughs> that double doesn't matter at all. I'm trying to win the game with Magirna. Uh, and I actually cannot sack it now because he made those plays. But I can go Tangraph and just click Giga Drain. If he clicks Outrage, I'll be fine. But this guy is banded, so I'll be able to get my kill with Giga Drain right here. And once again, I'm trying to sack whenever Keldeo comes out because I'm, I'm pretty adamant about winning the game with <laughs> Magirna. But if he continues to go for 1,000 arrows, I'll be fine in this regard. So, um, be able to knock out Coco now. And Keldeo is in range of Thunderbolt 100% of the time. Metacham comes out. Let's go Mew here. On the high jump kick. I did a lot that time, what the hell? What type of high roll is that? I'm gonna just click Psychic. As he goes for the, why don't you just go for high jump kick again? Why would you not go for high jump kick again when you just got that roll? What? You've been doing around that roll the entire time. But Keldeo comes out, it has to go for a water move. And uh, I can just go Magirna and just click Thunderbolt. Because if he gloves out to Zygarde, there's no one move he can lock himself into. Yep. And now we win the game with Tangrowth plus uh, Greninja and whatnot. I don't know, that was that was odd. I don't know why he went for Zen Headbutt that time, but... <laughs> this is why the team would be better with Thunder Punch. And I'm actually faster than that Magirna, that, that Zygarde set. I forgot it was incredibly bulky. But in any case, let's go ahead and look for another game. That was a weirdly played game. Um, I don't know. I was really, like I said, I was really adamant about winning with my Magirna. It was so hot in here, man. I want to turn off my, I want to turn on my AC, but I know you guys would hear it. And I don't want you guys to hear it. Uh, no dark resist on my opponent's team besides Bulu. Bulu is a giant threat to this team. I want to leave. I want my rocks up immediately, actually. Yeah, I want rocks up immediately. I don't mind Mew taking a burn because Mew could beat the majority of his team. Actually, Heron's is the only answer to Mew. Uh, and Bulu is really nice because I mean Zygarde's really nice because again, thousand arrows. And with rocks up, it becomes a three KO on Bulu. So it leads off a Rotom. If he burns me, he'll get burnt as well. Uh, which will obviously wear him down for Greninja. I don't know if he's Spadef wrote him, but if he is, with the burn, with Stealth Rock and whatnot, we'll be able to beat him. But just goes immediately for the Volt Switch, so I don't get burned there. And we get up our rocks. He can definitely go Heat Rant. Tran is definitely a good play. Let's see if we see Leftovers on him, though. Yes, we do. So he's fast Leftovers, more than likely Toxic Tran. Uh, if it's Toxic, that's fair. I, I think Zygarde's still the best play right now. Yeah. Zygarde's definitely the best play. Now, his own Scissor can come in, and I don't want him protecting, but I think Toxic is okay right here. If it was a tournament game, I'd definitely click a thousand arrows a million times, but I don't want... Scissor can come in, or Bulu. I'm gonna click Toxic, though. Because if he goes Bulu, Bulu's a giant threat to this team, right? So if I am able to wear him down with Toxic, uh, that just makes the job for... One, Magirna destroys him. I mean, Magirna destroys everybody. But that makes it easier for me. And uh, what I can do is just go Latios. Latios doesn't have any job in this game at all. He uh, doesn't really beat much of his team. He has double steel type and a fairy. He has priority as his own Latios. I'm going to try to go Latios on the potential. By the way, the terrains, again, they look awesome. They look actually awesome. I like the way they made it look. I really feel like I'm doing Wi-Fi battle, even though not really. But uh, he goes out to Heeran, which I don't mind because I actually want to trick this thing immediately. Because Grassy Terrain is up, I doubt he'd switch out, fearing like a random earthquake from Latios. And I just want to trick him immediately. This is his rocker. So if he goes to go for Stealth Rock, I lock him into that. And uh, as well as the fact that I can actually switch up moves earlier, uh, later. So Scissor would come out, or Scissor should come out rather. Right now, and we can go out to Mew. We'll get our grassy terrain, and I also scare out Mew with the uh, possible. I also scare out Scissor, excuse me, with the possibility of HP fire. I would double out to Greninja, but I don't know if he knows the team just yet, so I don't want to make that play. I'd much rather go Mew and catch the incoming. Uh, it should 100% be Scissor. It should always be Scissor. Bulu doesn't make sense because it's Stealth Rock. And the fact that it's poison, it will be to a KO by Psy Shock. Rotom. Okay. So, goes Rotom. If I click Psy Shock, that would have been fine. But we'll be able to get some nice recovery right here. Beautiful. And again, the fact that Bulu is on a timer with Stealth Rock up, we'll be able to beat it 1v1 uh, later. And because Heat Ran did lose its leftovers, which is its only form of recovery outside of Grassy Terrain, I don't mind staying in the Psychic uh, just to wear that boy down. I really don't. And the turn that Tran locks itself into any move that's not like, the turn that Tran locks itself into any move that's not uh, Lava Plume, I set up with Magirna. So we'll go Latios one more time. Uh, he could have Megahorn, but it's not it's not super common on Bulu. He could have it though, but Latios is again really expendable. 
And because terrains are gone, his horn leash won't do too much, you know, unless he crits me, of course, obviously. But, uh... <laughs> Let's click Psyshock here. I don't mind if he goes Heat Ran, I get to weaken it. Uh, if he goes Scizor, I actually need Scizor only like 60% to beat it down, so... Um, he allows me to weaken his top Bulu, which is great, because this is only Greninja switching. His only Greninja switching, he allowed me to weaken. So that's amazing. Uh, I don't care if he doubles now on a Scizor, I don't care if he goes Heat Ran. I do not care at all. Uh, Tabu Bulu is 100% in range now of my attacks. And uh, he actually goes Heat Ran as well, which gives me more Psy Shock damage for my Greninja to be able to come out. As well as the fact that if Heat Ran takes one more Psy Shock and I get a plus one boost on Magirna, I knock it out with plus one Thunderbolt. Not having to wear Focus Blast and being able to save my all-out pummeling for the Scizor. So again, I'm setting up for the uh, Magirna sweep. Why is he never going Scizor? I do not understand the lack of Scizor plays. I really don't. I don't understand. Are you going to Draco here? If you Draco, you you lose. Because Magrina gets to come out. You know what? I don't give a care. I'm just going to drop a Draco out. Do whatever you want. He's not going Scizor. He doesn't need to go Scizor. Who am I to call my opponent's play for him? <laughs> I think that's his best play, though. I, don't, I think he should have went Scizor 100% of the time. I don't know why Scizor didn't come out. And you know what? If you're life with Latios, why? Why are you going to train? I don't know why he's going Tran, and he also weakened Latios for an unboosted Ice Beam. I don't understand. I don't understand at all. I told you Latios was expendable. Why is Scizor not out? I beat this 1v1 as well, even if it burns me. I actually beat this 1v1, unless it's like SD Scizor. But yeah, Tran was an annoyance for my Mew, which is not status, by the way. Which is actually not status. So, Mew can 1v1 his team. I can also get the kill with my Greninja, which is what I want. But I end up getting the uh, crit right there. If I got the, uh, like the higher roll, I would have knocked him out anyway. But here it goes down. I'm so surprised. I did not expect that at all. Scissor can come out. Uh, if it's SD, I'm actually going to go hard to Angerl because I do have the HP fire. And then I can uh, Willow Wisp it with Mew, so I'm not as worried. Uh, Tangrowth is also, while it's very good for Zygarde, I think Magirna can just set up. And if he U-turns, I'll eat the hit anyway. It is SD. Interesting. Uh, so we'll sack Latios right here to the potential, uh, I think U-turn? Well, obviously U-turn is not going to work because of that, but I can burn him. So it's SD U-turn, yeah. So we can go out to Mew and burn him. It's going to... Uh, I should be faster. It's easy to U-turn variant, but like this is such, so odd. Like, why... Why set up with Scizor now? Especially if you're just going to go Bulu after. You know you give me a recovery and there's a chance that I'm actually faster than you because I am running a lot of speed, so... Um, unless you're actually not... Unless you're Jolly, you don't outspeed me and I knock you out with Psychic right here. I also live any move unless it's like Z move. I'm pretty sure the damage was adamant on my, Mew, uh, on my Latios, yeah. So he not only gives me recovery on my Mew, but gives me top of Bulu. Maybe I won't win with Magirna. Maybe I won't. You know, I was saying that last game too, how Magirna had such a good matchup, but just didn't win. Uh, he goes Latios, so this is my cue to go hard Magirna, because you cannot trick me, you cannot drop a Draco, and just set up. Yep. Yum! I want to shift gear. Yeah, I'll shift gear. All right, that allows me to be a threat to Zygarde. Uh, though there is grass terrain, so Scissor will be able to live any hit anyway. Uh, he goes hard Rotom. Or he goes into Rotom, rather. I don't think the term hard Rotom makes sense. I'm just all out pummeling. Forget to, man. I'm going to win this game with... <laughs> I want to win this game, but... I think plus one lets me Thunderbolt to a KO. Uh, scissor anyway, so all up pummeling lane because that does not knock out Rotom. Jesus. Wow, I expected that to be able to knock out Rotom. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Um, e either way, Mew can win as well, but... Oh, wow, I should've got that. That was Max Bidef Rotom. That has to be Max Bidef. That was a Focus Blast. Like, did nothing, man. It doesn't matter. I click Dark Pulse anyway. With my Greninja, and I Will-O-Wisp. And Zygarde clicks Thousand Arrows a couple times, so I don't think it matters. But I get toxic on my Zygarde, I forgot. Uh, but we click Dark Post now because no Dark Resist, no Dark Answers. I get my Battle Bomb form. And I do have HP Fire because Scizor is such a huge threat. Uh, but I will be able to get my Battle Bomb form right here, and if he switches out to something, it should be 2 8 KO'd. Scizor should be 2 8 KO'd after Stealth Rock by Specs. Uh, Zygarde is the only Mon that might be able to live too. Um, but not anymore because he gives me my Battle Bomb. I get Greninja in, let's go. I'll take it. 
I'll definitely take it. I wonder if I'll go Zygarde. What type of Zygarde are you? How much is Lottie yet? I'm willing to risk, risk, um, win this game with extreme speed, so I just click uh, Dark Pulse here. Um, he might double expecting my Tangrowth. If it's Dragon Dance, this is the better play because my Tangrowth does not have HP Ice. But it looks like he's banded and just goes right for the extreme speed. And what I can do is go right out to Ladio, uh, excuse me, Mew, and take that on, and then Will O Wisp and whatnot. Um, Zygarde's also in range of extreme speed, so I can take those on. And yeah, I can eat these attacks and just go right for the. Uh, the roost, excuse me. Latios has to be... Don't you have to be like Trick Scarf or something to beat me? I think you actually have to be Trick Scarf. Which is something he could be. It very well looks like it could be Trick Scarf. I'm gonna sack Greninja here. Because if he tricks me, then I can click Dark Pulse anyway. If he drops Jericho, I can go Tangrowth and click HP Fire. Yeah. So, I should now be able to go out to Tangrowth and just click HP Fire. I guess he, uh, he could go Zygarde here, so maybe that isn't the play, but I'm gonna click HP Fire. Because it should hit Scissor Upon so This is a weird game. Yeah, I shouldn't have said I went Magirna so early. But, I don't know, the way my opponent was playing. <laughs> a little bit of overconfidence. Uh, Alright, we'll Giga Drain you. Because we do live one Outrage. As well. Scissor can U turn, I suppose. Oh, he just Toxics. Alright, so we're able to knock out Zygarde while still being a good amount of HP with Tangrowth. And I can HP Fire Scizor. Uh, it will be a 2 KO, and you cannot set up and beat me at the same time. Uh, so even if I want to U-turn out of there. And like I said, Bulu is in range. It goes Latios. I'll just knock off. As he unfortunately misses a Draco Meteor. And... That was Soul Duel. It wasn't going to be able to kill anyway. It would leave me really weakened, though, for his... Uh, it would leave me, leave me really, really weakened for Scissor U-Turn to be able to knock me out. So that miss did matter. And then of course, I can just HP Fire right here. U-Turn doesn't knock me out. It does knock me out with Poison. I'm not. I'm surprised he Roost. I think you should SD. I think SD was your best play. U-Turn uh, still doesn't knock me out if he wants to go for that. This is so much damage. Let me keep this mon alive because I can burn Scizor and then Thousand Arrow spam. I don't want him running the SD here. He's gonna U-turn. He's gonna roost again. Excuse me, but if he goes for U-turn, I think please. I'm pretty sure Thousand Arrow's not. Why do you go for Bullet Punch and not U-turn? You're faster. I don't understand. Good game, but I'm so confused. I, I have no idea what happened. I have no idea what happened in that game, guys. I. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Why would you not go for U-turn there? It doesn't switch you out if there's the last Pokemon. Like, you, you wouldn't forfeit the game if that happened. I don't know. I don't understand that play. I really don't get that play. How much does uh, Thousand Arrows do to Standard Scizor anyway? From Choice Band Zygarde. I got another game, but let me check real quick. Pretty sure it's around that percentage anyway. Let's just say it's bulky. Oh, that does so much damage. Oh, we got rain with Kieran Black. Oh joy. And Pert. Love myself. Pert. And two dark types, so Mew's gonna have a Chalio time. Ninja's a pain. That's Battle Bond. They always run Battle Bond. I'm gonna have Mew. I'm about to get on my rocks. Boy leads off with Kieran. <laughs> Threat. <laughs> yes. Uh, we'll get a Brox though. We should be a little at Ice Beam. I'm hoping. I'm praying. Uh, but he goes Hard Pelipper. So what I want to do is just click Will-O-Wisp and weaken this guy. If he wants to defog immediately, I can get on my hazards. Um, again, after, and if he wants to just U-turn, that's fair as well. But I want Rocks up. Yeah, Rocks up. Just to pressure Weavile if Weavile wants to come out. Uh, Weavile's a giant threat. Uh, I'm thinking Magirna can also just win this game as well. Yeah, Weavile can just go for knockoff right here. I hate... Letting my Magirna get weakened, but it's actually my only knockoff switching. If he goes for Pursuit, this is bad as well. Maybe I should just Roost. Because if he goes for Pursuit, this is a bad situation. Yeah. So, yeah, I made this play based on the assumption that I'm thinking that he's banded. And what I can do now is just Will O Wisp. So I was right. Because uh, I had such a good switch, and he goes Greninja as well. So he gives me the burn on Greninja. So Greninja can't even sweep me by flinching me to death now that it's been burnt. 
That's amazing. That was two great turns for me. I made the play assuming he would go for Roost, and I got in this mod. And now we're going to make some uh, aggressive for no reason plays. Should he? No, oh, knockoff is the best play. I don't care if he goes any. Doesn't matter what money goes I into. Knockoff is always the best play. Hey, a ghost cure him, which is definitely sub zero slammer. Because obviously my knockoff didn't work, and cure ain't no mega Pokemon. You know what I'm saying? It might be a fusion or two, and we might get that in Ultra Sun and Moon, but it ain't no mega Pokemon. Uh, but anyway, Greninja being weakened. Oh, thank you, man. Greninja being weakened is really good. I have Tangrel to check Swampert. Tangrel, can I, oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. I appreciate that, bro. Um, this mod definitely is sub Sub-Zero slammering. Jesus Christ. Help. <laughs> Help me. Mew? You good, buddy? I'll click Roost just in case he switches, but... My God. Uh, anyway. I like Lottie here because I could drop a Draco. I actually want to trick expecting to go Ferrothorn, though. I really do. You should go Ferrothorn here. But this will not work out for me if it doesn't work out for me. Does that make sense? I'm tricking though. You should go Ferrothorn. Yeah, always. And this gives McGearn an easier setup. Of course, assuming he doesn't leech seed and whatnot. Which is why I'm going to go McGearn right here. I don't think you leech seed because I do have Tangrowth as an easy switching as well. Not that's easy, but I do have Tangrowth as a switching rather. Doubles out to Kiram. Smart play. We'll risk Latios because it's pretty expendable. Greninja, Weavile, all outspeed it, but Fusion Bolt was the play you would make anyway. For my opponent, anyway. And I can just drop a Draco. Uh, we're keeping Kiram low. Kiram switches out. It's in Dark Pulse range, so that doesn't matter. If Ferrothorn comes in again, Dark Pulse is looking good for my Battle Bond Ninja. Um, and we don't want to give Ferrothorn any recovery from a potential Leech Seed, so we will go Tangrowth. And if he doubles on the Kiram, good play. Just goes for Spikes, though. I'm a Giga Drain here, expecting to go Pelipper. Yeah, fearing the, uh, fearing the, what's it called? The HP Fire. And because it's Defog U-Turn, I'm thinking it's Scald, and basically what I'm thinking is it's not Hurricane. It's not smart to sack this Mon, but I'm gonna go for Giga Drain, because I don't think it's a sack. <laughs> I really don't. And the second that Weavile locks itself into, yep, one Pelipper dies to Rock, so that's why I was thinking he should Scald it over anything else. But the second that Weavile locks itself into the, um, We've all locked itself in a knockoff. I win with Magirna. So that play was essentially amazing for me because now what I can do is actually just sack my Latios right here. Uh, his rain is gone. His Curve is gone. So I got two kills that turn. And I got Ferroth on the range. After one more turn of Stealth Rock, we've all dies to unboosted Thunderbolt. As we crash, we'll be able to knock me out. I'm going to go Battle Bond Ninja because I can click Hydro Pump here <laughs> and not care about his team. I would love to get up a spike, but that's not the play. Hydro Pump is my play. Hydro Pump is always my play. Actually, I think a spike is the play because he's going to sack Pelipper, right? You should sack Pelipper. I'm going to go for a spike. Yeah, I want to weaken that, uh, I want to weaken that Pert and whatnot. <laughs> Pert's a threat, especially if it's power up punch. So at this point, as much as I do love my own Basically, I can't go out into Tangrowth immediately. I have to go Zygarde first. Because I can extreme speed. He's going to go for Earthquake here. He could go for Ice Punch. He's me to go on Tangrowth. Oh, he is Pup. Oh, great. <laughs> so because he has Power Up Punch, I actually am forced to go for Outrage. Because of that. And Tangrowth does live 1 plus 1 Ice Punch. And the great thing is, Rain is going to end soon. So I can go for Giga Drain here. Uh, does not freeze me. Nice. We get the recovery we need on this Mon to come back in, weave out and whatnot. Now I just set up and win the game with, uh, I just set up and win the game with Magirna. So no matter what play my opponent makes, I set up and win. It's game. I think that spike was smart too. Yeah, so he can knock me out with this. Uh, what I'll actually do is go out into Greninja here. Because I'll sack it. Do the ice of a crash? That's fair. Maybe I, I just win the game anyway, so I'll just go for water shirt in here. I, I literally win the game. So, um, because not only does my own Greninja outspeed his, but he can't beat me down with his as well. 
and we'll go Tangrowth. If he goes for Dark Pulse, I double out to Magirna. Uh, there was like faster ways I could have, or safer ways I could have won this game, but I think this was the play. Uh, goes right for Ice Beam. And of course, we're not going to risk this, so we're going to go Magirna here. And we're just going to shift gear. He could freeze me, but my own Tangrowth should win the game anyway, even if he does. And plus, spikes and burn damage are racking up, so we'll shift gear now. He has to go for the freeze. As he does not get it. And um, even if he sacks this and then goes Tangrowth or, or excuse me, Ferrothorn or whatnot, I still win either way. But he doesn't. So we can end up knocking him out with the Thunderbolt, get our Soul Heart, and then Ferrothorn is going to come out. And I'll be able to knock that thing out with an all out pummel and just blow that mono away. So yeah, I don't, I don't like saying good games early, but like there was no way I could lose this game. <laughs> Unless I actually turn off my computer. At least that point. So, um,. That Mon Kieran was such a huge threat though. So let's go ahead and look for another game. We're at 26 minutes, so hopefully we can squeeze in uh, one more. You guys know I like to leave my lives. At least my solo lives around 30 minutes, and then when there's friends here and we have people to bounce stuff out, and it's a little bit more, uh, I think, entertaining than I am on myself. That's how I feel anyway. Um, though some people do like the more analytical commentary. Others prefer, you know, friends. I don't... For me, I, I don't care as long as I'm playing Pokemon. I love Pokemon. Uh, also, uh, World Cup of Pokemon ended up starting. Thankfully, my team made it into the qualifying phase. Uh, so we made it through the qualifying phase, rather. So we will be playing in the World Cup. Or I will be playing in the World Cup. And I should be playing DVP in round one. I don't know if that's where I'll be stuck the whole time. I'm not sure if it's locked in or whatever. But I love playing DVBOU and... Uh, well, you guys should know I do love playing DPOU, and I'm hoping that we get some uh, good games from that, too. I'll be live recording most of my games, if not all of them. Pretty sure. Depending on how I'm feeling or whatnot. I mean, I live recorded my qualifying game, and I felt like crap. <laughs> I just... When I said I felt bad, bro, like, I literally just threw up right before my game. Like, I don't know why I felt so bad, but I just did. Uh, cool team on my opponent's part. I like the slow bro Ferrothorn core of Mawile. Uh... Hello Mew. Mew does not have good answers from my opponent. Um, Greninja is really good in this game as well. I love Mew as an answer as a Pokemon. Uh, Magirna, you know, always as Magirna does, it can sweep. That's Scarf Chomp though, or Scarf Greninja. We'll see. Uh, leads Mawile, so I get an immediate burn off on something. Unless he's like toxic, there's nothing he can do. So he's probably gonna switch hard in the Ferrothorn. Maybe slow, bro. Uh, if he goes Greninja, fine. But like, I, I actually get a burn. It's 4.30 in the morning? What happened to the time? I swear it was only 9 p.m. when I got on my computer. Well, then again, I was sleeping most of the day. I wasn't feeling well. The fire station people. <laughs> the fire truck. Excuse me. Hold up. I'm about to mute this real quick. Send help. I'm dying. Uh, so I had the Ferrothorn. That's cool. I get an immediate burn. This could be Spikes. If it is if it is spikes and not stealth rock, then I'm assuming that it is. Uh, I'm gonna assume that it's scarf chomp now. Uh, so I don't want to be lead seated. He could have knock off on his in this mon. That would be bad for my Tangrowth. But I'm gonna risk it anyway. This is my only switching, my best switching rather. Yeah. And he doesn't have good switches to this mon anyway. Especially if I go for HP fire. If he expects my, uh, if he expects me to like go for for example knock off. Uh, he would might go Mawile. Yeah, and because Mawile hasn't Mega Evolved, HP Fire into re uh, on regular Mawile into Mega Mawile should be able to knock it out. So, that was a beautiful turn right there. That, I couldn't have asked for a better turn, especially because Mawile is such a huge threat. Uh, Ghost Thunderous on my HP, uh, on my Hidden Power. This could be Z move, but I'll knock it off as he says he's going to do the same thing. Uh, he's a salt vest himself. I don't know what move he's going for, but I'm gonna go Latios uh, because while he could very well go for uh, HP Ice, I think he might go for Sludge Wave. Uh, goes for Volt Switch though, so Greninja can more than likely come out. I'm Scarf though. I'm definitely, you know, I'm a Scarf Mon, so I can deal with this. Uh, we'll find out right now if he's Scarf. I'm willing to risk this. I'm gonna drop a Draco. If he's Scarf, then he's gonna U-turn. Mm, Latios, why? Why? He's Battle Bond, and I miss a Draco Meteor on Battle Bond Ninja after I got knocked off. You know how bad that is? That is so bad for me because that was a huge threat gone. So it's definitely Scarf Chomp, which is good because now I have to get two shift gears with my Magirna. Uh, we'll go route right to Mawile. It's Mawile was a, uh, excuse me, we'll go route right to Mew. Mawile was a smart play because he gets off a play rough, and uh, there's just no way that I'm, uh, what was I going to say? Like, he knows I'm locked in because I did outspeed Greninja, unless he's thinking he missed out his EVs, but... Well, Roost here, since he should fear the Will-O-Wisp, and it will half his attack, so he shouldn't... 
I mean, he can miss as well, so I don't care uh, what play he makes right there. I missed. Man, I don't get to drop Dracos very much anymore in this generation due to how the meta is. I'm just sad that that did not work out for me, but at least we get Mew back at a good amount of HP. I'm actually going to Psychic because I do have uh, Tangoth as an easy switch in, and I expect him to predict that. I got a spit after that, that's cool. He just leeches these anyway, he doesn't care. We just don't care about Tango, huh? I want to Willow is so badly, but the fact that I missed that Draco actually makes it really bad for me. Uh, but we'll go Grove. Go could take this thing on and any switching. That is nothing. What does he have? To... You have nothing for this Mon. <laughs> what is Tang? I've never seen a team like that. That's so weak to Tangrowth. Like you don't like pivoting on this Mon at all. Then again, HP Fire isn't as common as HP Ice. But this team is weak to Scizor, so that's not a pivot. What do you think you're doing with this mon? Give me this. Give me that. Are you gonna Z move me? Don't Z move me. Are you gonna freeze me? I feel like he'll freeze me. I'll follow it up with a knockoff. Uh, actually, there's zero reason to not Giga Drain. Like, I gain recovery versus everything. And even if he goes out to Feral Thorn, like, all I'm gonna do is HP fire it after. So I don't know why he made that play. I'm really worried about Battle Bond Ninja, though. But my own ninja becomes a huge problem to him, especially because. Uh, his, what's it called? His, uh, Magirna got weakened, so this could very well Dark Pulse me, but, uh, excuse me, his Maul got weakened. I'm expecting Dark Pulse or Ice Beam as he goes right for U-turn, so great, my Magirna takes less damage. And that was actually very smart because now I can't click, uh, Shift Gear, which I would have clicked immediately, especially because Feral Thorn is at, what, 82%? Burnt. That boy would have died at all out pummeling, Mawal dies to Thunderbolt. The great thing is though, Magirna being in makes it a little bit harder for my opponent, uh, especially because Mawal is so low. If he thinks I'm a Salt Vest though, I don't think he'd think I'd be double Salt Vest. He should know, or he should expect offensive. This monster comes out. I'm just gonna go Zygarde and click Extreme Speed. I doubt he would go for Thunderbolt. I even see HP Ice there. He goes for Volt Switch as well. And because Rocks are up and he does die, I'm not going to mess around with this throw. I'm just going to click Extreme Speed. I don't care if he goes Feral Thorn. I have Tangoth as a pivot. That Mon is gone. That was a huge, huge, huge threat gone. And uh, I have no idea what type of Slowbro this is. But it ate. You know what? I've had enough. I'm going Hard Ninja and we're winning. <laughs> we're winning this game. Yeah. Cobra Berry? I don't care. I don't care what you are. Stealth Rock are up, Ferrothorn is burnt, Dark Pulse is coming through. Yum. Me and Elise see me, I don't care, I can risk this. There's actually no reason to risk this, I can do it later. <laughs> so we'll go right out to Tangle. wow he can't even touch me, he couldn't even touch that, that Pokemon. That's amazing. Let's click Giga Drain, because you actually cannot touch me either. And if he wants to make a wild play of going right out to Greninja, or Slowbro again, that's fine. Uh, and either way, if I Giga Drain, he's in range after Stealth Rock of the Dark Pulse from my Greninja, so I don't mind that too much. Leech Seed, Gyro Ball. I don't like the fact that he couldn't touch Greninja. I also don't like it, the fact that he was a Salt Vest on Thunderous without, like... Okay, like, a Salt Vest is a cool item, right? Like, he went hard Greninja, yeah. That's <laughs> Alright, he just gave me that threat. I don't even think he could beat Tangrowth now. Um... I don't like that he was Assault Vest on Thunderous, mainly because he didn't have any form of recovery on his team. He didn't have, um, like, Wish or whatnot, like, Healing Wish. Uh, he didn't have Hazard Control, so that boy was always taking damage with Assault Vest. I don't know, like, if anything, if he didn't do anything, like, run Leftovers on it, if anything. Or run a Z-Move on it, but... Oh, well, regardless, we make it out of the end of this live. <laughs> Into the 1700s on our way to the top. Uh, Road Top 10 should be starting sometime after World Cup. Though, then again, a Greninja Suspect test is supposed to happen after World Cup. I'm not sure. I'm gonna go two more months with this Greninja on the tier. Good lord. But in any case, guys, hope you all enjoyed. Of course, if you did, feel free to leave a like, subscribe, do your thing. You can follow me on Twitch and Twitter. Those links are down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, friends.